Hi, and welcome to a partner series to Her Story on the Rocks podcast, Her Story Top 10, where you will get 10 quick, interesting facts about a woman in history. In this series, I talk about good women, bad women, fictional women, and non-fictional women from all times and places because women have nuance. Today, we are digging deep into America's sweetheart herself, Shirley Temple. One, Shirley Temple was born on August 23rd, 1928 in California. Her father was a banker and her mother was a stay-at-home mom and a failed dancer who reportedly put Shirley's crib next to a phonograph so she could listen to the American Top 40. By Shirley's toddler years, her mom had perfected her look, ensuring that each day she had exactly 52 spiral curls atop her head. Two, by the age of three, Shirley was enrolled in dance near a popular Hollywood studio. This meant that Hollywood executives walked past each day. Before you know it, Charles Lamont saw her and signed her to his studio. Her first film was War Babies, which was a part of the Baby Burlesque series. Go find it on YouTube. It's seriously disturbing. Three, in this time, the studio would separate children from their parents. If children were misbehaving on set, they would put them in a dark sound booth box and fill it with ice until they started to behave, sometimes for hours on end. Four, Shirley was bought by Fox. Many say it was her bright eyes that saved them from bankruptcy. She was so popular that even though the United States was in the Great Depression, people still paid to see her. Creepily enough, her biggest fans were men between the ages of 35 and 38. And poor Shirley stopped believing in Santa Claus when he asked her for her autograph. Five, by age nine, Shirley was old in Hollywood. She had done 44 films, but the scripts had stopped coming. That is, until Wizard of Oz was sent her way. But as we all know, Judy Garland was selected for that role. In 1940, the studio realized they were going to lose money on her, so they dropped her contract. But that's not the whole story. Six. Shirley Temple was sexually assaulted by a studio executive. During contract negotiations, he pulled out his penis. Being young, Shirley didn't know what to do, so she laughed. Angrily, he threw her out of the office. Following this, her contract was dropped. And that's the whole story. Seven. At age 16, Shirley met 24-year-old John Agar. He wanted nothing to do with show business, and she liked that. So they married when she was still a teenager. Soon after, he started drinking heavily and tried to use her to get into Hollywood circles, and she realized the relationship was doomed. They did have a baby together in 1948, but divorced shortly after in 1949. Eight. Just 60 days after her divorce, she married the love of her life, Charles A. Black. After her marriage, she did only a few films and her hair turned its much darker natural color. She and Charles were happily married for 55 years. Nine. In 1967, Shirley ran for Congress and even continued on in politics within the United States General Assembly. She became the U.S. ambassador to Ghana and later to the former Czechoslovakia. Finally, in 1976, she became the first female head of protocol for President Gerald Ford. 10. Unfortunately, Shirley was diagnosed with breast cancer. However, unlike many women at the time, she spoke out about it publicly, reminding women to check themselves regularly and announced her mastectomy. On February 10th, 2014, America's sweetheart died at the age of 85. This has been another episode of Her Story Top 10, providing you with 10 quick, interesting facts about a famous woman from history. Don't forget to like and subscribe below and let us know about a woman that you would like to know more about. For extended information on Shirley Temple, download our full podcast on her life at Her Story on the Rocks, available on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify. And as we like to say, well-behaved women rarely make history. Mm -hmm.